So, notice anything different? Yes, I cut my hair and I dyed it black. I know it's a big change. I usually have the long hair that's lighter, but I was ready for short hair. I'll tell you what, because it is so much easier. Um, but just don't tell my boyfriend I did this, because he doesn't know, so I'm going to surprise him. Um, I'm seeing him tomorrow because I'm picking him up and we're driving down to school, which is basically leading into the reason of this video. Since I am partially moving down to school tomorrow, I have to get my ostomy supplies there too. Now, I don't like to bring everything because I have a lot of ostomy stuff, but I like to take the necessary stuff and some extra fun things. Um, so I packed it all into a box and I want to show you what I'm bringing and kind of how I organize it. Not that it's particularly organized, but I don't know, hopefully you'll like it. So, sorry in advance if you hear Leroy. I don't know this position I'm sitting in. It's making him really loud. I don't know. I filmed this like five times and he keeps being obnoxious. Anyway, so, um, like I said, I'm moving in and I want to have everything ready. So I'm going to show you everything I have in this box. Maybe you'll get some ideas of new products you like to try or at least find how I organize it. I don't know, but I thought it would be a cool video to see. Alright, so let me show you my box of ostomy supplies. Alright, so this is my box of ostomy supplies. I tried to get a small box thinking that it would make me take less, but it is packed full as you can see, so that failed. Um, but yeah, this is basically everything that would help you put on your ostomy or just little fun things that I like to use. Um, I feel like I'm doing a makeup collection video. For all the girls who watch those, that's what I feel like I'm doing right now. <laughs> but because my life is about ostomies now, um, this is how I do it. <laughs> so basically I want to take out each item, show you what it's for. Um, you might find it interesting, you might want to check it out. So I'm going to try and tell you where I got them from. And um, yeah, and I'll just show you everything about it. So first thing I want to show you is these Dermacol Stoma Collars. I just got these, so I don't know much about them, but they are such a cool idea. And I'm wearing one right now. I'm going to show you what they look like. You're probably like, what the heck is that? Um, maybe you've seen something like this before, but I haven't. Now, basically, this part would stick to your skin, and then this part would go around your stoma. So, say you're lying down and your output is kind of around that area, this would prevent it from going onto your skin. I think that is the coolest idea. So I'm trying them out now. Um, they've worked well so far, but I gotta let you know more about them. And I just, I really think they're a cool idea. This is from Salt Healthcare. Like I said, these are all samples. Like I just got them, so I have to let you know. But I really, I'm starting to really like salts, like all their additional things for ostomies. Um, I have another thing in here that I'll show you. Actually, a few other things that I'll show you by them. But that's that's these. So if you're interested, salts, healthcare, that's what they're from. Um, I also have my little ostomy pouch covers. Um, I just got this one. Stoma Wise sent this to me, and I think it's so cute. It says, I may not be perfect, but parts of me are pretty awesome. Yay! <laughs> um, this one is by Penguin Pouches, I believe. And then my other three are from CNS Pouch Covers. I'm just discovering that I really like wearing these. I find them a lot more comfortable than the bag against my skin. Um, and I really like my towel one because you guys know I have to bling out my ostomy. I really treat it like a pet more than a medical device. <laughs> it's like a dog <laughs> trying to make it cute. Um, other products I have in here, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Comitech products in here. Just warning you, it's because I did the Comitech photo video shoot two days ago, so anything that was like left over from that, they gave to me, which I want to say thank you so much because this is just really awesome, like, saves a lot of money, I'll tell you what, because you guys know that ostomy supplies are expensive, but, um, I'll try to show you all of them right now and just kind of explain a little bit about them, so let me take some of these out. So the things I really like, I've liked these for a long time before Convitec even owned them. Um, they are the adhesive remover wipes and the skin barrier wipes. These were originally owned, or this was originally created by Trio Healthcare, but that company was sold to Convitec, and 
these are, I think this might be the old packaging. It might not be. But I know that the Comatech now has new packaging. They have this packaging, and then they have Sensicare packaging. So I'm going to show you that. Kind of awkward here. Um, same products, so if you get, you know, one of the boxes, it's the same thing. And basically, Trio Healthcare sent me a sample like three years ago, and I did a video, I'm pretty sure it's still up on my channel, I did a review, and I love them, and then Trio Healthcare told Comitech about me doing the video, so Comitech contacted me asking if I would come to their headquarters and do videos for them, and I went, it was really cool, I went to their headquarters, so I got to meet a lot of people at Comitech, and they are super nice, I'll tell you what, they're very, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but they're just very nice to me. A lot of fun to work with. <laughs> we had a good time that day. I've actually worked with them twice. I worked with them in December and then just a couple days ago. So you have the wipes and then they have the same product in sprays. So I have the Sensicare um, adhesive releaser, which you spray around the adhesive on the bag and it makes it fall off basically. It's a really cool concept. And then they have spray skin barrier. I like, I'm starting to like the skin barrier spray now. Because I'm realizing it puts a thicker layer on your skin than the wipes. Um, so I have different sizes of these. I have a giant, <laughs> look at this thing. I have a giant sized adhesive releaser spray. And then I have this cute little baby size. Look at how cute. It's This is the uh, skin barrier. So I think this would be cute to go in a purse or like your emergency kit. I love it. Um, oh, and then I also have the skin barriers that come in a stick form, if you know what I'm talking about. You kind of have a little stick so you can wipe it around your ostomy. And I think, other than my cleanser, that's, oh wait, I have the diamonds too. But I believe these do not come as a Sensicare packaging. Um, but these are like the gelling sachets that gel up your contents so it's not as liquidy. And they also deodorize it, which is great. Um, and the other sense of care thing, the last thing I have, I've had this for forever. And it was funny, when I got home, I realized it was the same brand as the um, wipes that I use. But this is just a cleanser. I don't use it too often. Pretty sure they gave it to me in the hospital. Other things I have in here are my um, Brava Strip Paste. This is by Coloplast. It's, um, I'll take it out and show it to you. I've showed this in many videos before. I just take a little piece and I make a ring with it and I put it around my stoma, but I'm trying not to use this as much. I want to try other products out there because I want a better bag sticking to me. And I also want to provide good products to you guys so you know what's going on. <laughs> I also have Hollister Adhesive Spray. This is supposed to help your bag or appliance stick better. I have used this. It does work. Um, but I don't use it too often because if I get a good bag, then, you know, I get a good bag. I don't really need the adhesive spray. I also have Stoma Adhesive Powder um, and Ostomy Protective Powder. These are two different brands. But basically, these help irritated skin. And I, I think this is a new bottle. I actually haven't used this yet. But I've used the Stoma Adhesive Powder. And this has worked wonders with irritated skin. When I first got out of the hospital, I had a lot of trouble with um, skin irritation. I had a really bad spot. It looked really raw. And this helped clear it up. Um, helped clear it up. Sorry. Helped clear it up. And my skin's been good ever since. And I actually, because of the skin barrier that I use, my skin has been great for a while. But if I ever do get any irritation, this will clear it up overnight. It's amazing. I also have another salts product here. It's the Fresh Air Deodorizing Spray. I really like this. I feel like I can just put it in my purse and bring it wherever. And it's got, it's definitely got a scent to it, but it's not altogether unpleasant. It's like a very fresh scent, <laughs> but, you know, the name says it, so. But um, it does work, and I do like it, so I'm excited about that. Um, what else do I have? I have... A collection of tape here. I have three different kind of tapes because you never know what situation will come up that you need tape. Um, I have fabric tape, I have paper tape, and I have medical tape. 
which I don't know if there's a name for this, but it's kind of like the perforated, do you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but that's okay. Perforated medical tape, that's what I call it. I have my two equalizers from Stomaplex. These just help push on your ostomy, make it stick better, and especially if you have like a very small ring size on your ostomy, but you have big hands and you can't really get in there to push on the ostomy all the way, this gets in there and kind of pushes it back on. So I like these a lot too. I have baby powder. I, I don't really know what that has to do with ostomies, but I keep it in there because I don't know. Baby powder helps dry stuff. So sometimes I will put it underneath my bag, like after I get out of a shower. But, yeah. <laughs> um, I keep a few extra clips just in case. I keep a rounded one, which I believe these are the ones that Hollister give out. And then I have this flat one, which is a lot smaller. I really like these more than I like the curved ones. Um, I don't even use emptying pouches, though, anymore. I generally use the closed pouches. But, you know what? Might as well keep them on hand. You don't know what's going to happen. I have some other samples by Salts. I have some skin barriers, as you can see. Oh wait, these are adhesive removers, I'm sorry. Um, and they gave me a few of these, so let's see if I can find some more for you. Yeah, here we go, here are the skin barriers. And then I also have a Brava strip paste sample, this is from Colplast. And I've gotten a few of these over the last few months, and I really want to try them out. Um, if any of you use these, please let me know how they work, because I think they could be really good. I might put them on my next pouch. Um, and I also have some of the same things, but by salt. And this one, this is actually really cool. This has aloe in it, so I feel like this will really help with irritated skin. If you think, like, you get a sunburn, you put aloe on it, probably the same concept. So, I think it's really cool. I'll let you know how these work, too. And the last few things I have in here have to do with my enemas. I just keep a pack of my steroid enemas in here, and then I keep an extra syringe for when I do my Epsom salt enemas. So that is basically my whole box. I eventually want to make a medicine box, and um, yeah, I'll show you that when I get to that. But these are all of my supplies that I take to college, things I, I really think would be useful to me things I use every day with every pouch, and some things that I might use like every once in a while. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I've given you some new ideas on products you might be interested in. Um, and if you have any questions on where to get anything, please email me at letstalkibd at yahoo.com, or comment below. Um, but yeah. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!